So how many of you have already started to take part in the new uh, curbside recycling program here in town? So it's about half of you. I'm hoping that after my speech tonight that most of you will at least try to take part in sorting out your recyclables and getting started with the collection in your next pickup day. So this fall, started October 18th, and was at the beginning of the Waste Management Division of St. John's attempt at beginning to curbside pickup here in the city. I, for one, was very excited about this initiative. I visited my uncle in Oshawa, Ontario in 1992, and this is the first time that I saw it actually taking place in person. And I always wondered if we'd ever get it in Newfoundland, and I didn't think we would. So I was always known as a tree hugger. Probably since then, I've always tried to conserve and reuse, and at home I certainly recycle all of our bottles. But I never got into doing the cardboards and all the other things that can be recycled and then delivered to the recycling depots. It was always too much work. Even at work, they call me a tree hugger. I, the, car, the Tim Hortons trays that they have, I used to always complain to people because they didn't bring them back to Tim Hortons and reuse them. So they started to collect them. Then we get a stack of it this high of the Tim Hortons trays. We started using them for packing up goods. So uh, you can reuse anything, really. And when I heard about this program, I'm from CBS, so I didn't hear about it coming to my house. And I saw a booth in the mall with the curbside recycling program on the backboard. And there's a man there with nobody speaking with him, so I went and approached him. And I asked, when would we begin the program at CBS? And he said it probably wouldn't be for another year. But because of my enthusiasm and interest in the program, he handed me one of these fancy little envelopes, which if you're from St. John's, you would have received one of these in the mail. So it gives you the website for the program on the back, which gives you your pickup dates and all the information and details that you need to know about the program. As well, it includes inside some blue clear bags for your recyclables, which is what they require for you to use for your recycling products. So if you are like most residents of St. John's in Newfoundland, you think that recycling is more of a hassle than it's worth. You may think that it's too much trouble and you can't spare the space to sort your recyclables in maybe some nice organized bins or just in some bags in your garage. You always wonder, where will I keep them? How will I get them there? I have messed up my car, you know, so you throw it away and put twice as much garbage out under the curb as you really should. So now the new curbside pickup is easy. There are three steps. There's sort it, bag it, and curb it. So for sort it, there's containers and paper. There are two categories. So you can have two bags even every two weeks. And containers are all your drink containers. Your aluminum, your milk, drinks, your tetra containers for your orange juice. It takes everything except for glass. There are paper products, which are newspapers, egg curtains, toilet paper rolls, etc. So to find out more about this, visit the website again, written on the envelope that you received in the mail. While sorting, you also rinse and clean your products and remove your stoppers so that there's less work for the people involved at the pickup. Second is baggage. So yes, you put it in transparent blue bags and not in garbage bags because it will get mistaken for garbage since it is picked up on garbage day. And not to push Sobeys bags or grocery bags into your recycling bag because they're not recyclable and the blue bags are. Curb it, set it out on the curb on your date for pickup for your area. It'll be every second week and the same day, and you don't need to cover your recyclables. You can uh, put your garbage under your net or in your garbage box, but the recyclables can be just left out on the curb. Okay. I think that everybody can take part in this program. There's no reason why anybody can't. If you use paper and bottles for your drinks, you can certainly sort them out in two bags every two weeks, even if you just you do it part of the time. I look forward to the program reaching all across the province. It's already been started in a couple of communities, and St. John's is certainly the biggest mass of people, so it'll certainly take down the amount of waste at Robin Hood Bay. So collection is on every other garbage day, so get sorting and use your blue bags. So in closing, I am going to use the words of Mayor Dennis O'Keefe. I urge you to get to know the ins and outs of the curbside recycling program and incorporate recycling into your household routine. It's an easy and convenient way to cut back on how much your household sends to the landfill. So I encourage you to use the program, and if you need to know any more information, you check out the website.
Thank you.